friends. So it's been uh, a busy month. Haven't had a lot of time to work on the garage. So today I'm gonna work on the garage. I'm gonna try and work on this section here and use up some of this bonus plywood that I've got. Once I get the bonus plywood uh, taken care of, then I'll go buy some more plywood to deal with the rest of this wall over here. So I need to put, well, I don't need, but I'm gonna put insulation in here. So I'm gonna use some of this uh, leftover um, roll insulation that's not 24 inches wide. I'm just gonna rip it. not trying I'm not expecting to make this perfect I just I want to get something in the wall Maybe that'll be 24 inch and if you've got some that didn't come off you can just scrape it off find it a home. It's not going to hurt anything. Wherever you put it, it'll do something. Alright, that looks pretty good to me. Now, when you have taller sections, you can use a piece of 24 inch wide material. And again, same general concept applies. You just put it in here and then cut it off. for what we're doing. so I don't drill into anything important.
I did not mark where that plate is, but I can use a flashlight to see that it's right here. So as long as I put a screw up there, it should be fine. is in and now we gotta figure out how I want to do the next piece well it seems like it's been forever uh, I think I stopped working on this project in October and then I got crazy busy with embroidery and home inspections and yeah here we are it is December 12th and I finally have time to work on the shop again so anyway i did buy the plywood that day <clears throat> yeah but i didn't get much done oh there's my cat i don't know what he was pissed off about but whatever he's pretty easy going most of the time so what i'm going to do is trim some of this plywood down and make it fit there so let me get set up for that and uh, then i'll cut it That's the piece we need. We've got it measured and marked. I'm using this uh, track saw. I need to put something under this. the end so that it wouldn't kick as much um, this is a true track saw uh, track saw been really happy I've got a dedicated DeWalt saw that goes with it there's a shoe uh, if you look around there's a there's a uh, video review of this and uh, I'm really happy with it I've had it for several years now Trying to lay out the uh, where the box goes. I don't have a real good track record of doing this on this project, so let me go remeasure and make sure I'm in the right spot. All right, so I would have been off by small fraction. Let's see. What I really need is another one of these blue boxes, but I don't think I have one. That's the right size.
single vibration. Insulation in this wall. So I'm pretty much done with this cavity. And yeah, there's absolutely no. What a shitty setup. I mean, there's just absolutely no safety. <laughs> in these night lights shouldn't even be sold in this country there's no way oh, that's another video And yeah, the insulation actually does make a really big difference in this building. Um, I wasn't sure how much it would because, you know, the ceiling's not insulated, but uh, I turned on, it's you know, it's 60 degrees out. I turned on my heater and, I, and within 20 minutes, 30 minutes, it brought it up to a comfortable temperature. It was a little bit chilly in here. Um, so I, I was pretty impressed. moment of truth to see if I made a $30 mistake. Or at least a $30 mistake, but a lot of people think that.
looks like it's right at one inch. So we'll take it to an inch and an eight.
piece of the wall installed. Fantastic. So this uh, board, oops, just makes getting the spacing of the bottom much easier. See what I got that's in that neighborhood. Alright, all I got is the other half of the sheet of plywood. Huh. Not unexpected. 23 and a quarter. Slope. Alright, let me start laying it out. Alright, so make sure we got it in the right dimension. Yep, that's 48 inches. I took my measurement from. So four and a half inches up. Now, on this part, I took the measurement from the bottom. So I'm coming up 40 and a half inches. And I know that I'm gonna be in this vicinity here. And that's 23 and a quarter. And that gives me a pretty decent chance of hitting the taper, because it's the taper piece. <clears throat> messy so I won't be surprised if things fall. As expected. You know, it's not worth 
seven dollars worth of lumber to put two two by fours over there, and that's officially scrap at this point. So it's okay. That's the cost of working by myself. Now, before I get too far, I want to mark it which way it's up, just in case. here so I have to come in like this. There we go. You know, it's not a perfect fit, but mm, damn close. So let me just double check something. Well, actually, I've got wire protector, so it should be good. It's not, but at least spark. Sparks. I, I have square deep breakers. They'll actually crack. With scrap later on all right so uh, I got all this done today I'm gonna go ahead and stop because I'm actually kind of tired it's been a long few weeks um, and then I had a little bit more to do here and then I'll wrap up this wall probably not gonna get to this section for a while but uh, you know this is this is ready for these presses to start moving over I got a little wiring to do and a little bit more stuff to do but I'm real happy with today's progress because I've been trying to get to this for a long time and I've just been too busy. No energy, no time. Um, so anyway, thanks for watching. hope you guys find this interesting. Be sure to check out the playlist and remember to subscribe and hit that bell button if you want to see when I have more videos.